Can we get the Executioner here? That's how you start a video. All right, so kicking things off, I was going to be recording a video that you will also see at some point this week. I don't know when any of these videos are going up, but you will have seen it. And if you haven't, subscribed so you don't miss out on that. But we have, so we just got the Executioner, and we are going to be playing with... You know what? Let's throw the Executioner on the Elixir tile here. So we're going BK Rangers Specialist in this deck. So we have the Executioner, which has the Ranger and the Specialist buff. So that's what we're going to be working towards here. And this is a deck that I wanted to try out. And I'm trying it out for the first time with you guys because we just unlocked the Executioner. You guys saw it happen live. We literally just thought, which is insane because... I have like so much more left to do but anyway let's grab these ranger upgrades so we have the musketeer let's grab our archer and this is perfect we have the four rangers down which means our executioner is going to have a 60 percent attack speed increase so he is going to be flying all over the place we have the apprentice monk in here if we need it and the xe is just going to be going off like crazy so He's got the princess on the backside. He's going with the royal buff. We do have that again. We have that attack speed increase onto the executioner, which is just fantastic. Exe going to throw his axe all the way over to that musketeer. He's got the princess on the backside, and we are going to be able to clean him out in round number two. All right, so this could be a quick 3-0 if we play our cards right. We don't need the specialist buff just yet. Um... If he goes for the upgrade onto the princess, which he could with the burn, burning and anti-heal, that's when we'll want to grab the monk upgrade, uh, the, or the apprentice monk, or the specialist upgrade, because it'll shed all the negative effects. So any burning, any anti-heal, any stun, any negative effects that would prevent our executioner from getting shots off, that's what we would take off. We would just get rid of that completely, and we would be chilling. So let's see what we can do here. Let's roll through into round three, and it looks like our Executioner is going to be going for um, the Archer on the backside. He is going to be able to get some value with that Royal Champion uh, boast coming through. That's going to be cooking pretty solid for him. Let's try. Let's grab our Barb King over here. Let's go. Hmm. I could... Let's see, we want to go for a BK upgrade. Let's grab this Apprentice Monk here, and let's go for the Boast. And let's see how this is going to play out. So we have the Apprentice Monk getting the shots on the right-hand side. So silence the Princess, silence the Dagger Thrower. Not that silencing the Dagger Thrower really does anything. We are going to be able to Boast right there. Princess gonna take a lot of damage and oh my goodness musky can the musky clutch it up no the musky does not clutch it up all right heading into round five can we clutch up the victory here that's the biggest question executioner level three gonna be huge here let's grab that xe level three and then i think we go for the apprentice monk uh we're gonna go the 30 percent hit speed on clash and also the silence uh three hits every silence your enemy every three hits because if we can get our apprentice monk pushed forward with the correct amount of HP, it should be able to connect with his world champion, and we should be able to get some pretty decent value here. So let's see what we can pull off. Apprentice Monk going to be walking forward. He's going to be grabbing that. Let's have the Xe. Boom, getting the KO, and it's going to get some beautiful damage, and that is going to be GG well played. Oh my goodness, this combo is strong. All right, the other deck I did want to try with the Executioner is going to be a full specialist deck, but also with the C synergy so I, I do have fisherman and uh swordsman or i do have fisherman and uh sailor in this deck you can put um you can put the swordsman in it's not really that big of a difference um let's actually put our executioner right here i want to put the sailor onto the elixir tile so again you can play you can play this with um with the sailor uh or the swordsman either way is fine uh, the most important thing is that you do have the C synergy, I feel like, because getting that extra two energy at the start for the Executioner will help him get his super off quicker, which is what you want. 
um, and to be able to dish off as much damage as possible. So we're gonna grab our sailor right here. And then I want to go with the fisherman. Um, so let's sell that. And we're gonna go fisherman right onto his archer because that's what we wanna make sure that we're pulling. And so we're gonna get that C synergy. That's gonna give us our plus two, uh, plus two energy right at the start for the team. So Monk's gonna get energy. The uh, Sailor's gonna be able to get the super off and the Executioner will be able to get his super off a lot quicker. We do get some value onto the Giant right there. And that is gonna be a boom, quick and easy 2-0 lead for us. And we're gonna be going for that 3-0. He has nothing to stun us right now. So I wanna make sure that that stays that way. Let's go with the uh, Sailor. We're gonna go with the damage stacks. And I'm also gonna be going with the Executioner with the boast and energy heal um, to kick things off. I think the best order you can go is probably 2-1-3. Um, so that way you're, you're getting the healing, you're getting energy every time you get a KO with the Executioner. And then if you need to, you're also getting some extra value with that so sailor's gonna come through he's gonna start racking up that damage perfectly fine x is gonna get the throw here boast is gonna be coming into play we do have the monk getting the chaos and that is a quick and easy 3-0